Hello everyone. Welcome to this short video with an introduction to the Open RAN concept. Let's start by looking at a typical mobile network architecture. You have a core network, an access network. In between, they are connected by a transport network, which is also known as a backhaul. Then there's the air interface and a device or a user equipment, also called UE, that connects to the service provider's network. On top, there are services that run on the core network. The core network, as well as the access network, contain hardware and software. When we talk about disaggregated mobile network architecture, this is when the hardware and software are disaggregated or separated. This applies to both the access network and the core network. In this video, we will focus on the radio access network, or RAN. This is a picture of how mobile towers used to look in the 2G and 3G days. All the electronics used to be in one or more cabinets at the bottom of a mast or a tower. The RF cables would then run to the antennas on top of the mast. While this was a simple approach, the RF signal attenuation in the RF cable was a big problem. As a result, during the later phases of 3G and during 4G rollout, the industry moved to a new approach that worked better. Instead of sending RF signals from the cabinet to the antennas, the RF equipment was moved to close to the antennas. This ensured the RF signal loss was kept to a minimum. This new piece of electronics is known as the Remote Radio Unit, RRU, or Remote Radio Head, RRH. We can say that this contains hardware. At the bottom, we would have the baseband unit, or BBU, that would sit in the cabinet. This contained hardware as well as software. While in this picture it shows the BBU driving one RRH, in reality, a single BBU would be able to drive possibly all the RRHs that belong to the same vendor and operator. Looking at traditional RAN with a contemporary base station as an example, the RRH is always a proprietary hardware. The BBU is proprietary software running on proprietary hardware. And finally, the interfaces between the BBU and RRU are proprietary. The most popular protocol in use on front hall is CIPRI, which is vendor specific. When we talk about virtualized RAN or VRAN, the RRH is still a proprietary hardware. The BBU is a proprietary software with virtualized functions running on a COT server. But the interfaces between the BBU and RRH are still proprietary. It is worth emphasizing that VRAN is not necessarily OpenRAN. With the OpenRAN approach, the RRU is now COTS-based hardware that can be purchased from any ODM, OEM, or RAN hardware vendor. The BBU is a proprietary software with virtualized functions running on a COTS server. This is the same as in the case of VRAN. The main thing to remember is that the interface between BBU and RRU RRH is an open interface. This would allow any vendor software to work with any vendor's hardware. This is the main difference about OpenRAN as compared to other approaches. To explain this concept, let's look at an example scenario. A simplified view of a typical network is shown with proprietary hardware, RAN software and platforms, transport network, core, and services. Let's assume that the service provider has deployed OpenRAN software from vendor V1 that runs on COT servers. For the hardware, they are using RRHs from an OEM ODM A. Now, let's say they are upgrading some sites or deploying new sites and they decided to use RRUs from another vendor B. These should work with the software from vendor V1 out of the box because of open interfaces. Again, the service provider has decided to introduce a new hardware vendor, C, as they may either have more advanced features or are lighter or consume less power or any other reason. Again, these should work with vendor V1 software straight out of the box. Now, let's say the service provider is unhappy with software from vendor V1 because the vendor roadmap was not aligned to their own, or perhaps they do not have advanced features or any other reason. What they can do here is replace vendor 1 with V2. Because of open interfaces, the hardware from vendors A, B, and C should work with software from vendor V2. Now, when we move on to 5G, where instead of a BBU, we have central unit or CU and distributed unit or DU. While the backhaul and front hall remain the same, mid-hall has been introduced to connect CU and DU. 
The same approach to multiple vendors being able to interoperate with each other continues in 5G due to the open RAN approach. As you can see, the DU and CU vendors do not have to be the same, and the DU vendors should be able to work with the same RRH vendors because of open specified interfaces. With that, we'll conclude today's video. We hope this short and simplified explanation clarified the concept of open RAN. Please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below and visit our website at parallelwireless.com to learn more. Thank you, and we hope to see you again soon here on our channel.